Hi kids, and welcome back to Auntie Plays City Skylines. Uh, I'm very sorry about the video being so late, but when I tried to record yesterday after making the, uh, the weekly update video, I had a little mishap, and just as I was finishing up the episode, literally as I was doing my outro, the recording software crashed and lost all of the footage. So I got a little discouraged and decided to put it off until morning. So you'll be getting two videos today. Uh, this one that should have gone up yesterday and the normal video for the day, which uh, will be Slime Rancher. So I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, um, since the recording software crashed, I just went ahead and closed the game without saving, so it would revert everything back to the way it was when I began the session. And the first thing that we need to do is to get rid of these old bus lines and redo them. Because they're just not doing a very good, uh, very good job with, um, getting people around. Now, really I think what I need to do is probably make a central hub that goes out to everywhere from one spot. Uh, you know, not all of the places, but each of the lines goes from like a central spot out to a specific place and brings people back to that central place. And I think the way that I'm going to do that is by putting the central hub in our little education center. Because um, that would be a good place for everyone to be able to get to. And there are plenty of parks here, so it would be a nice place to um, wait while you're waiting for the next bus. In fact, I think I will lay in one more park here, one more nice place for people to hang out while they're waiting. So I'm going to put in the botanical gardens. I think I'm... let's see. Anything else? No, the botanical gardens seem like the nicest place to put in here. And then we're going to build all the bus lines to start and stop right in front of the botanical gardens so that everyone can come and enjoy them, go get an education if they want it, or make it out to all the other areas of the city. So, the first thing I want to do is um, just a very simple one. Have it go from the botanical gardens to the commercial district. And we'll just put in a few stops around here. It's very simple. And then back over to complete the line. Now, once this hub is active, everyone can get to this big commercial district. Now we're going to start a new bus line. And we're going to run this one all the way up to the... Um, Let's see. Let's go ahead and run this up into the residential area rather than um, rather than going through the uh, commercial zone. So we will put one there. Now I don't want to stop on every block. That's too many times the bus has to stop and people are going to spend too much time on the bus. So what I'm going to do instead is about every three blocks, 
I'm going to have a stop. And we're going to go all the way up to... Um, let's go ahead and take it into... Where's it going? Through there? Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, to this residential area. And then we're going to bring it back around. And we'll make a stop across the street from this, um, what is that, a cemetery or a park? That's a park, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll make a stop there, and we'll make a stop across the street from the high school. And then we will go on back to the beginning of the line. Okay, so that has that residential area covered. Now the next line we need should go to the two industrial areas. We're going to create a new line. And we're going to go right up here. We'll have it stop next to, I think, the elementary school, just because. I think that's an elementary school. It's either that or a clinic. In any case, I'm going to send it up here. And we're going to send it over to the industrial area. And we're going to bring that down here. And over to here. And um, up into here. And that is a one way, so we can't do much with that. But we can bring it back out here. Then we're going to come down to here. Go all the way across to here and then into this industrial zone here. Here. And then there's another industrial zone. And we'll do it um, here and here. And we'll bring it down here and go back out. Stop across the street from the hospital. Come on back and stop next to this minor commercial district. All the way back down, have a stop next to the high school. And then back down here to where we started. Okay, that gets a stop that goes to both of the industrial districts. Now we need one more for the residential area over here. So let's start it at the same hub. And we're going to go up to here and up to here. And then we're going to cut across. 
Stop next to this uh, cemetery, I think. Up to... Let's see, that's a one-way, so we can't go that way. Um, we'll go to here. And then loop around to there. And... Um, it's confusing me exactly where that's going. That is a little confusing, but anyway, we'll do one there. We'll cut across to here and to here and finally down to here and then we'll go back out again we'll stop by the hospital we'll stop by these shops and then Come down here just for the heck of it. We'll have a stop there. And complete the line. Alright, now the only people who don't have a bus route are the people in the Posh District. So we're going to go ahead and give them a bus line as well. Start a new line. Bring it up to here. And there. And into the posh district we go. We'll stop here. We'll stop here. We'll stop here. And there. People are going to have to walk a little ways to reach the bus stop in some situations. But it's not that far to go. Alright. And we'll come up here and stop. I think that's either police headquarters or a uh, hospital. Stop next to this cemetery. We'll stop here, and we'll stop there, and there, and then we'll come back down to here, now there's a, a big loop in here that doesn't have any bus stops. So let's go ahead and put one in there and one over there and we'll stop once in front of here and then we'll head back to the hub and there we go. So I think that gives us bus lines to all the major areas and links them all to a hub right in front of the Botanical Garden. So this will allow people to come here and then they can relax at the Botanical Garden while they wait on their bus to go to whatever other area they want to go to. And hopefully that will alleviate some of our traffic problems since people can catch buses to most of the places they want to go, they won't have to drive their cars as much. Now we'll see how that works out as we start letting time play. All right.
Let's see. Um, there's one in here somewhere for traffic. There it is. Alright, yes, I, I know about road usage. Now, of course, the heaviest areas of traffic are this main road here and this main road here. And right around here in the industrial zone, that part of the highway, no big deal there. That part of the roundabout. And this area in the industrial zone. And the residential zone next to it. But all in all, the traffic is not too bad. It's green almost everywhere. And that's not bad at all. I mean, yeah, there's some very, very red over here. But that's just the way it's going to be with major roads. And I think these are buses. Lots and lots of buses blocking the roads. Oh my goodness. Why? Why, buses? Why are you all running at once? You're supposed to be spaced out. Oh, good grief. And it's at 83% capacity. People are using these buses. They're most definitely using the buses. Oh, it's they're all going out at once because they're all coming from the bus depot. Okay. Once all the buses are actually deployed and are running their regular routes, they should not be tying up traffic as much. Hopefully. But right now they're all going to the same place, the main hub. Maybe I should have just made the main hub right in front here so that they could then go out to their individual areas from here. Oh well, next time we redo the bus lines, that'll be something to keep in mind. But in any case, um, other than that little snafu with the buses needing time to get um, sorted into their areas, I think we have helped a lot with the traffic problem. Oh, and there's an abandoned house. Okay, oh, that's no, that's not Thor's house. All right then, bulldoze we'll the abandoned house. Goodness, all the sirens. How many fires do we have going on? Or is it an ambulance that can't get to the dead body in this house? I swear the ambulances or the, the hearses are really bad about not being able to pick up dead bodies in a timely manner. And I have plenty of um, cemeteries and crematoriums. Look at all those dead bodies. Mm. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for this time, kids. I think next time we are going to look at a new area to buy and maybe do some expanding. Uh, demand for residential is way down, but we need more industrial. So we may start um, filling in this area with industrial and buy a new square somewhere. But uh, for now, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. And stop by the Patreon page if you're able to, to support the channel. But until next time, be safe and have fun. Auntie loves you.